Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.7.6 and DECA Ironworks Simulations JF-17 Thunder Module. Welcome to Tutorial 5, WVR Radar Modes. Uh, WVR standing for Within Visual Range. Uh, these modes in this aircraft are called ACM, or Air Combat Modes. Uh, this is going to be very similar to the, the video that I did on the F-16. It also has a bunch of similar air combat modes, although in the case of the F-16 you have a dogfight switch. We don't have a dogfight switch in the in the JF-17, so it takes a little bit longer to get set up. Um, today we're going to be demonstrating the vertical scan, the boresight mode, and the HUD area scan ACM modes of the radar in the JF-17. These are automatic lockup modes used uh, within 10 miles. They'll only lock targets within 10 miles. Uh, and they will usually be used uh, in combination with the PL-5E2 infrared missile, short-range infrared missile. So, let's jump into the cockpit. And the very first thing we're going to do is use the T1 switch, which is our master mode switch. We're going to push it forwards to put us into intercept mode. And uh, by default, that's going to give us the standard modes that I already car uh, covered in the BVR radar modes video. Um, so, uh, as per default, we're going to have TWS here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to press uh, S1, which is the sensor select switch, forwards. I've already demonstrated that if you push it to the left, to the right, and to the rear, you change the sensor of interest in the cockpit. But if you push it forwards, it immediately puts you into what is effectively a dogfight mode. So, you know, to to get the same effect as the dogfight mode in the JF-17, you're going to push uh, the T1 master mode switch forwards for intercept, then you're going to press S1, display sensor select switch forwards. And that immediately puts us into VT, which is the vertical scan mode, and it also selects the PL-5 missile, which in most cases in a dogfight situation, that's exactly what you're going to want. So the vertical scan, uh, you can see the dotted lines here on the HUD. That is the uh, azimuth uh, of the scan, and it's going to scan quite a bit above the HUD and quite a bit below the HUD. So this is optimized for a turning fight. Now with the sensor select switch, uh, we can enter different modes. Vertical scan, which is the default one here, is entered by pressing S2, sensor control switch aft. If I push to the right, I'm going to get HUD area scan, and that basically, as the name suggests, scans within the HUD area. And if I push forward, I'm going to get boresight mode. And in boresight mode, I need to place my target within this circle. Um, I'm going to leave it in boresight mode for just now, and I'm going to accelerate, because I know that I've got a bunch of targets out ahead, turn off my autopilot, and start manoeuvring to put those targets into the boresight circle. Visually, I've acquired one just now, but I think he's almost certainly outside of range. Now, what's going to happen is, uh, once he's within 10 miles and within the circle and the radar picks him up, the lock is automatic. I don't need to do anything else. If I want to dump the lock, I can do uh, the S2 sensor control switch depress, uh, and that will dump the currently locked target. And if I want to leave um, the uh, ACM modes entirely. I can simply press, oh there we go, lock lock. We automatically locked one of the targets and you can see there that we've got a TD, a target designator box, and we have the usual target information here, your range, closer rate, and so on. Uh, also, as before, uh, it tells us on the left hand side here the current weapon, PL5, that it's ready, uh, our master mode, which is now dogfight, and that we're in an STT lock. So uh, the automatic lock will always put you into an STT. I'm going to press uh, S2 depress, and I've just dumped that target. Oops, it relocked him. I'm going to dump, dump again, and I'm going to try and lock up the one over here. There we go. That's not the one I wanted. Let's dump again. It's insisting on locking up this particular one. There we go. Got the one in the end now. That's what I wanted. Uh, and we're then going to get the acceptable uh, steering error. Uh, we're going to get the dot, the steering dot. We've got the seeker head for the PL5. I could actually tap on cage. And it's now following my target designator box. We're a little bit too far for it to pick up the lock. It's going to cage that again. Um, and as I said before, I can go um, T1, master mode selector switch forwards. And I'm now out of the dogfight mode entirely. 
So I'm just going to repeat that one last time. I'm going to do uh, S1, sensor select switch forwards. I'm in vertical scan straight away. I've locked this guy. And that is pretty much how this mode operates. Uh, you're generally going to be wanting to use it with the uh, PL5, but you do have the option of clicking here and choosing the SD10. Uh, and it's, it's equally possible to make an SD10 launch using the ACM modes. Uh, I can click to go back to the PL5. I can also select gun. Oh, I'm going to get rid of that. You'll see it took a few seconds, but then the gun cross appeared. Uh, before I can fire the gun, I need to click feed. Feed will flash, and once it stops flashing, the gun is loaded and ready to fire. Pulling the trigger will fire the gun. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all of the stuff you would want to do in a dogfight mode. So just for fun, just because I know you guys want to see this, let's actually engage a target. Here we go. I've got tone. Uh, I'm not currently within range, so I need to get a bit closer. I'm actually going to pull that off of the target because it's a little bit grating. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you want to see me actually engage one of these targets. Although I'm barely closing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut here and I'll cut back in when I'm a bit closer. Okay, you rejoin me. We're a little bit closer now. I have a time of flight appearing in the TD. Notice when he's not inside my HUD field of view, I've got an arrow pointing in the direction of my current target. Uh, so this is me loaded up with guns and PL5. So this first one I'll take with a PL5. Fox 2. That's a kill. Okay, S2 depress. I've broken the lock and I'm now in vertical scan. Gonna pull hard and see if I can pick up one of these other guys. There he is. PL5 saw him, the radar has now seen him. And for this one, I'm going to have a go at using the gun. Uh, now the gun, you just... <laughs> you put the line through the target, get the uh, crosshair on it, and you pull the trigger. Pretty simple system. Uh, and I missed. Need to get a bit closer to make effective hits with this. There we go. We're counting down on the range. This is going to be really hard. This is a MiG-29 after all. He's going to manoeuvre much better than I am. Oof. Yeah. I'm pulling my maximum turn rate here and I can barely keep up. But of course, he will run out of energy eventually. PL5 sees him. I really want to try and make a gun scale here. There we go. Now you need to pull quite a lot of lead because the gun actually points very slightly downwards. Yeah, th this is actually pretty useless for air-to-air -air combat, in fact. The, the gun is clearly more optimised for air-to-ground stuff. Let's look at the amount of lead I have to pull here to actually get the pipper anywhere near him. And I also have to be very close. Let's see. I'm going to continue just a little bit longer, and if this isn't going to work, I'm just going to dump a PL5 at him. I'm actually not even closing on him, really. Okay. Okay. It's really hard to try and keep the, the line going through the target as well. No, I'm not even closing, really, anymore. Uh, oh, wait, no, no. I'm starting to now, but now I don't have the lead. Let's see if I can make it. Nope, this is not going to happen. PL5, we're going to go Fox 2. Ooh, good track and a kill. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and returning to intercept mode uh, takes me out of that uh, ACM setup. Uh, and I could then also deselect gun and the gun pepper disappears from the HUD also. So, that is a full demonstration of uh, WVR combat in the JF-17. Those were the ACM radar modes, vertical scan, bore sight, and HUD area scan. We were using PL-5E2 missiles and the internal gun.
I hope that you all enjoyed that. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's a really big help to me and to the channel, and I'll see you all next time.